you know what, today we're gonna do an experiment. I wanna see how long it takes to build a simple recipe finding app using the Shoutem app builder. Usually when I make these videos, I build an app in advance and then make the video kind of recreating the process. But this time I wanna make the video while building the app and I'm gonna put a little timer up in the corner. Let's give it a shot, right? We're gonna start by creating a new app through the Shoutem interface. So I go to my applications, click create new app. Let's say we want to start with, let's call it a news app because we're going to have pictures and maybe some other stuff. It's creating our app. Cool. So we have our new app. Let's see what happens when we click play. Okay. It's building our app. Okay. Starting screen should be photos and we say that they are in a list. We're going to display all categories whatever that means we have po photos with a bunch of data that's perfect okay so let's remove the other screens how do we do that aha okay delete news so we're trying to make it super simple I, I just want one screen that shows photos of recipes and their descriptions uh, rename we're gonna say this is recipes that timer is actually quite unnerving okay so now I have now we have to figure out how to create our own extension and I'm also gonna go look up how to take this app out of the builder and run it locally because I think that's gonna make it easier to see what's going on great so now I'm making a now I'm making a local clone of the app using the shoutem CLI shoutem login managed to log in on my third attempt because I'm lame Shout and clone, and we select the news app because it's the only one we have. Allow all connections, and it's downloading. Magnificent. We now have the news app downloaded, and I think if I say React Native run iOS, it should run, and we should be able to see what we've built so far, which isn't much. We've just enabled the basic news app from Shoutem. Cool. 14 minutes into the experiment, we have a running app with a bunch of photos and stock text and stuff. Most of that time was actually spent just waiting for compiling and downloading and all of that. Cool, now let's try remaking this, but to show recipes instead. I found a really nice recipe API from Adamem, whatever that is. So let's try creating a custom extension that's going to look at the API and return some results with pictures. The API gives us pictures, ingredients, stuff like that, and most importantly, it lets us search by diet. So what, what I'm gonna try to do is create a custom extension for each type of diet and just have them as screens in R. This says that we should go, we should CD into extensions, which I already did, and call Shoutem init, let's say recipes, we have recipe balanced, let's say recipe balanced, um, title, recipe, okay, we created an, a random extension that doesn't do much, it's, it's supposed to just say hello world, um, let's add a screen, Shoutem screen add list minus minus shortcut news app because that's what we called it oh it's in here screens list js cool we have a list and we're gonna say balanced recipes now we have to do shout and push and shout and install we install it to our news app cool and now if i go back to my shout and builder if i understand this correctly a new thing should show up so here i can go plus and find my balanced recipes and it gets added. Ah, and it has a stupid name. And let's go back to my navigation and let's say the navigation bar is going to be a tab bar. I think it automatically say here. This shot and configure syncs everything between the builder and my local machine. Cleaning temp, installing dependencies. Cool. And now if I run React Native run iOS, so we still have the original recipes thing. But if I click balanced recipes, I get our new screen that we just started working on. I just lost a bunch of time trying to be far too clever about this. So let's try building it from scratch. And by too clever, I mean I tried to copy the shout and photos list approach and that didn't quite work out. So now I'm just gonna build my own list with my own data source. So let's do this getting some help from the 
official tutorial for making your own Shoutem extension. We take a bunch of imports and we create a recipes function that for now is going to return a list of exactly one recipe that has a URL chicken soup enough to create a basic list and I'm gonna take the render row component from the official tutorial the main render method we render a list view row recipe okay so now when this reloads if I click on balanced recipes we get chicken soup perfect something finally works now we're gonna add a detail screen that's going to be the screen that shows the actual recipe once you click on an image. To do that, we first need touchable opacity so that we can actually detect clicks. And we're going to use something called Navigate to and EXT. These are supposed to be things that come default with using the Shout and Builder. So I'm hoping that's true. We also are no longer the exporting list by default. Export default connect down here. We're also not really using styles anymore. Now we go into our extension and we say shout and screen, screen add details. That creates a new screen in our render row. We are going to wrap everything with touchable opacity on press navigate to, okay. Oh, and we have to take navigate to out of props. Now we go into details. Our details currently just says hello world. I guess we can just copy it over just like the tutorial suggests. Gonna copy the whole thing over. Rename everything that says restaurant to say recipe. Now here where we have description, we're gonna have to have recipe description and we don't have addresses. We don't have web pages or addresses or emails. We're gonna replace that with the actual recipe data from our API. Delicious, glorious chicken soup. Reload the app. Only one default export. Aha, I didn't copy paste correctly. So now I have balanced recipes and if I click chicken soup, it opens delicious, glorious chicken soup. Yes. Now all we need to do is load our actual data, populate the list and everything should just automatically work. Now we're going to load some data in a very hacky way to see that everything works. And yeah, we're just going to load it in a very hard coded hacky way because that's going to be easier. And I don't feel like figuring out how to pass parameters from, I'll explain later. We need to move recipes into state, an empty list. And here where we say get recipes, we're say, we can say this state recipes. And if this state recipes dot length, we return a list view. Otherwise we return a loader. Oh, it's spinner, it's not loader. Doesn't look the best, but bear with me. Let's say, what, do we, what are we searching for at first? Let's search for chicken based recipes. And then we need diet, we set balanced component, we call this get recipes, we debug remote JS, balanced recipes, a query for chicken, image, ingredient lines, ingredients, label chicken parmesan, recipes becomes json.map, let's say ingredients is recipe dot, instead of res recipe description we have ingredient lines and we get a bunch of them we have chicken parmesan barbecue chicken chicken empanadas cool 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 so now what we can do is we can say recipe dot ingredients dot map now we should be able to click on balanced recipes load something click on it and we get a bunch of ingredients and that's the recipe because obviously you can just guess what the recipe is from seeing the ingredients, right? Now the cool thing about this whole Shoutem thing is that if we do Shoutem publish, we're going to update our Shoutem extension on the Shoutem cloud thingy builder stuff. And once it's there, we can easily add more balanced recipe screens to our app. We go to our Shoutem, Shoutem builder go to custom, click recipes, 
This one is balanced chicken recipes. Okay, and let's call this one balanced pork recipes. And let's delete the first one because we're not using it really anymore. So now if I go here and I do shout and configure, okay, it's gonna install a bunch of new dependencies. It essentially reinstalls your entire app. If it all goes well, once this is done, we should have a new app with two screens one for balanced chicken recipes and one for balanced pork recipes but there's going to be a downside just as i expected we have two different screens but they both load all the same recipes which works and it's pretty cool that we can add screens that easily but the problem is that what we really need to do is figure out a way to add settings here so that you could add search parameters and stuff like that for the API but I don't want to do that right now and maybe that's maybe that's something we should leave for the next tutorial right now we have an hour and 17 minutes to build an entire app from scratch with the shout and builder and I'm pretty sure that if I build this without the shout and builder completely from scratch it would probably take me two or three hours just to set up the navigation so all in all superpower